You done got too good looking tonight not to be on camera, right? <laughs> He's always good. good looking. Yeah, he is. Yeah. You know, one of the things we love about you is the fact that you are always so real. You're always so transparent. I know you're looking at me like, this is real crazy, yep. right? <laughs> like, ah, this no. is... Let, we can just say it. This is some crazy <laughs> shit. <Some> crazy <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? You're still beautiful. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm like trying to really talk loud, hoping you can hear me just I can fine. hear you. But um, one of the things we do love about you is because you're so transparent. You're so real, both of you guys. Thank you, I think. Do you think anything about this documentary will surprise your fans? Oh, God. The fans, no. Mm -hmm. I think I feel like the fans' friends know me so well. Mm -hmm. I think um, I'm not sure. I'd love to know mm -hmm. after the fact. That's what I'd be interested in. I think it'll mostly surprise people that don't like me. I think they might like me after this. You know what? Even though they don't want to, they might. I will say, <laughs> you, I mean, first of all, you are so, you're already so likable and, and so well, just, you know, you thank really, you. you really thank are. You. But then in this, we see you go from stage to backstage with the family, with the kids. My favorite line of it is people really like uh, Pink because they think she doesn't take any shit. Yeah. For, hey, breakfast. for like breakfast. That is my favorite line. <laughs> and it's true. You know, the kids it's mostly from him. Where do you get that energy? Like, where does it even come from? Um, which? My sense of humor Your or? energy, just keeping it all going. Just once you start, just never stop. Yeah. That's my, my thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't really know. The both of us, we just, I mean, I'll cook two sourdoughs before breakfast. Oh, my God. Take the kids to school and knit a scarf. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I love too that you said 19 years in, you all like each other more like than you ever did. Like you're really in. That was that day. <laughs> I like him a lot. Just maybe not more today. Uh, no, thanks. Carrie, it's, it's like this. That, it, yeah, it does. Your was turn. there a moment though? Like that you guys felt like, okay, this is the groove we're supposed to be in. It took us a minute, but we in this groove now. Yeah. I mean, children made us grow up a lot more. Yeah. You know, you can't be young and loose and petty and fighting as much, you know, with children. Mm -hmm. So children definitely made us grow up and prioritize and kind of get in our lane and stay in our lane. So that definitely helped out quite a bit. Yeah. One of the things, um, Pink, that you say um, about is that, you know, for men, it's always different. For mamas, especially mamas that are artists, like, yeah. you know, it, yeah, it's just it is. hard. It's so many quit touring because it's just hard to be away from your kids. How do you make that all? Is it just like we, we roll in together always? Yeah. And I, you know, I credit a lot of that to Carrie because Carrie has his own career, but mm -hmm. he, he pauses every couple of years for us. Nice. And I, we are a family unit. Everywhere we go, we roll together. And, and I'm lucky to be able to be the boss and to call the shots and mm -hmm. to create a universe in which they can thrive. And I would say my greatest characteristic is that I attract beautiful human beings. Mm -hmm. That's like my, my greatest talent. Mm -hmm. And I have beautiful people around me and my kids love them and they love my kids. And they're friends with Carrie on, we have girls nights and boys nights. He takes them to a dive bar and we do our moon ceremonies, <laughs> but it works. I yeah. don't know how it works. Sometimes it's awful. Uh -huh. It's awful. It's impossible when the kids are sick and, or I'm sick or anything. It, it can be awful too, but we just, like I said, you just don't stop. You keep on going. Well, you guys also make beautiful human beings. Those babies. I mean, I know. those babies. Thank you. Singing with your little girl. I mean, I know. Uh, she's best. so sweet. She's so unaffected. And it's not even something she wants to do. I asked her, I said, do you want to take singing lessons? She's like, no, I'm already good at it. And I was like, mm, but you can be better because everyone can always be better. She's like, no, nah, I don't want to do that. I want to, what is she, the latest? She wants to be a baker and a teacher and a, oh, an, amusement park. an amusement park owner. Yeah. She's got other ideas. The first time you saw, like, saw them speak together, I mean, a tear, speechless. What was that like for you? Yeah, I mean, it was pretty amazing to see the project because to be on the front side of the camera, like in our day to day lives, mm -hmm. you know, cameras rolling 18 hours a day and then to start seeing it edited down and seeing it as a real project, it's you forget about some of those memories or like some of the hardships, like with Willa getting sick or Alicia getting sick, like you kind of forget about those things as the days go on. And uh, it was, it's, you know, it's like a video yearbook. It's, it's, how, how do you feel when you see Willow sing? Uh, I think it's great. I, I love when she sings. I mean, she has, you know, your voice and both of our athleticisms, and she's not as crazy as me, which is good. So I think she's safer on a 
behind a microphone. Yeah, she's a better interviewer than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just That's ask you not this. true. Um, you're going to be honored by the Billboard Music Awards. Yes. Icon. Yes. Status. Isn't that funny? Come on, Icon. That's funny. Come on, Icon. I know. That's what everyone else is going to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, when you think about that, think about where you were, where you came, what you've been through in this. I think there's something to be said for perseverance. Yeah. I've always told everyone I'm like a rash. I'm not going anywhere. And here I am. 